how to use Grid in Affinity Publisher. Now this is a basic run through of Grid. I'm going to go through a number of the features, not all of the features. Now, first thing to do, just going to remove this. Let's get rid of the whole thing, full stop. Key thing here is view and show grid. So you can get rid of grid, that's it. Key thing is view show grid if you want to see it. What you can also do, there's a number of options here, snapping manager, so view and snapping manager. You can go for enable snapping and also snap to grid. So you've got that snap to grid. That's a key thing there. Now to actually go to the grid and manipulate it, just go to view and grid and access manager. And I think the best starting point is just go say to a preset, just select a preset. There's a preset. Straight away you've got a whole load of different presets which you can run through and you can see, you can just do that and then you can use them in particular ways in Affinity Publisher. But I'm just going to go back to the default one and the basic setting. What you can do, you can modify the spacing. So let's say two or maybe 0.5. But with the snapping on, what you can do, go over here, I'm just using one of the shapes. You can click there and you can see it snaps nicely to there. And also snaps nicely there. And you can build up all kinds of different grids. Also, you can use picture frames. So just picture frame there. Great, nice picture frame, picture frame there, and so on and so on. And also type, so just go there, I'm just going to go to frame, and you can quickly add that, and then go to text, and I'm just going to quickly insert for the text. So you can see you can create all kinds of very basic grids, but there's a lot more to it than that. So I'm just going to remove these now. Now you'll notice up here you've got this uh, show access editing handles. If I turn that off, it will disappear. And that's this green and red here. And you can move the axis, you can just move it around. Most of the time I just keep it there, why not? Also you can change the colors. You can change the spacing, you can change the divisions. So if you want, say, four subdivisions, so it says subdivisions here, divisions. Anyway, so it's always odd that should maybe should be subdivisions there. But you can change the opacity, so you can make it full on or maybe reduce it down so it's a bit fainter. You can change the colour, so maybe you want it black, or there, up to you. doesn't matter, just what you like visually to see on your design. Maybe if you're using a lot of blue, it's probably best to avoid having the grid lines being blue, because it makes it tricky to see, so black in that case. So, now, with this, what you can do, you can, of course, you can close it at any point, you can get rid of it, but I'm just gonna go now to automatic, so you can go to automatic, and you straight away, it just, that's a very default, basic one. Personally, very rarely keep it in automatic. Also, you can go to advanced, and with advanced, what you can do, you've got all the settings again, but you've got to like here, grid type. And you can see the grids there, you can manipulate them separately, so uh, you can got gutter here, you can say, have a gutter of 0 0.5, so you can see you can make a nice little gap between the gutters, spacing, you can make 0.3, so you can see you can create all kinds of pretty un straight away unusual grids. And again, what you can do, you can add designs to that, and so on and so on. And of course, you can still add a picture frame to that, like that. Now, undo that. And with standard, you can also go. There's other options as well. Of course, I've done second axis, but you can also do the same with the first axis if you want to do that. Set a guttering of 0 0.3, and you can see you can create that very quickly and easily. There's also others. So grid type, isometric. And again, if you go to there, you can see that it's there. It's probably best just to go back to a preset. So I'm just going to quickly go to a preset there and then go to advanced. So you've got isometric, and you can see your isometric. Now, show grid, show access handles, you've got option here, create plane set. Now, if I add a design, I'm just going to quickly add a sign there. You can see, just add there, which is quite nice. You can really just create all kinds of unique designs. If you click there, it brings up isometric, and you've got options here for side and top. Now, the best thing to do is before you do any sort of uh, adding any pass, any sort of design, is to create the grid first. Because 
unless someone can point out to me there's a way to attach it so when you change things everything moves according to the position it was set that would be really lovely but it doesn't seem to do that <clears throat> so best thing is set it up first and then add pass and text as well as obviously uh, images etc so now i'm just going to go to another one to one isometric you can see different settings obviously become available there's also settings here for additional access setup I'm not going to show go through those but you can now so i'm just going to add another pass and you can see add that and also maybe let's add some type add some type there again and again text let's go down to insert for the text that's just the easiest way you can also fit to plane See, it's not gonna but you can use rotate there's a number of options there so you can just rotate and do all those kinds of things up to you of course personally i'm not going to do that but there's the options to do that and again best to not have those until you're happy with your grid so you've got that option you've got that option and again you can still continue to modify this now that sadly there's no sliders so you actually you can just use the up and down arrows though to be honest not much use since it does it like in like that one so if you put 0 0.2 or maybe divisions through it so you can see three there and again you can still do gutter 0 0.2 and you can have a gutter between them and again you can then continue to add your designs there and so on and so on so you can see create all kinds of wonderful Grids. and I'll continue now I'm just going to go to the next one oblique and again unfortunately those that gutter is still set so right there and change that to 0.8 or something and you can see that design there I'm just going to remove that oblique trimetric triangular and you can see you can create now some work well unfortunately when you add like that just goes like that it doesn't sort of do it as a triangle it would be weird but it that would be nice but anyway what you can do horizontal triangle again that doesn't give you the option for connecting to the various points and you've got two axis custom and so on and so on i generally keep in this bunch two one isometric i think it's quite nice for design like that to add designs very quick and easy However, done those ones, select that one, select that one. You've also got final option here. You've got cube. And you can then modify that and you can rotate it. So you can see, then you can create, and you can see all the settings change. So the settings here will change here as well. And you can change them here, so two, or you can change them 0.3. And you can change this cube scale. Let's go for 0 0.7 and so on and so on. So you can create those. And of course, what you can do, you can still go to here to the rectangle or any other ones. And again, you can see it will add that design. And again, picture frame. Add that picture frame, replace image. Okay, always always seems to be behind it. So and then you can see your design there. And of course you can still move it and it follows that clicking in there snapping so you can create all kinds of amazing designs using this cube so i'm just going to remove that and that and you can obviously continue to manipulate that as well as change the other settings so if you want to still change those you can change those settings as well and of course once you've done that again you can create a preset this point, I'm just, this makes it a bit more extreme than that, something like that. So go up to here and create preset. So I'm just going to go for a, a cube one, very original name, or cup one, no, cube one, and category. You can set it into a category, graph paper, or just none. And then create. And then you've got your cube there. And it puts it up the top. Weirdly, it puts it up the top. 
quite a lot of the conventional for presets always puts it down the bottom, the user preset, but this one, it puts it at the top. Very strange. There are odd little quirks in this that seem to uh, sort of go. Occasionally I've noticed suddenly it, it loses things and I'm thinking, hmm, and then I have to just go back to a start point. However, that's a very basic run through of the grids. I hope you uh, found this of interest. Always having new tutorials about Affinity Publisher, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Photoshop, Illustrator, of course, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. What things have you found with the grid? What sort of things have you found you don't like or things you like? What sort of things would you like to see added? Also, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? You know, it's also, and also, if you do know of a way, and I would love to know, how you can make certain that when you add these things, so say you like to do this, and then you decide, you know what, I'm going to change things. And then you turn it around, move it around, that it actually follows that, sort of moves around with it. If there's a way of doing it, please put that in the comments, it would be wonderful. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.